Any of your contacts can be set as an emergency contact. Doing this will list those contacts on your medical ID, which we'll get to shortly. Emergency contacts will also receive a message when the emergency SOS function on your iPhone is used. This is accessed by pressing and holding the power button and the volume button on an iPhone, then sliding emergency SOS, or just continuing to hold down those two buttons. And if you have an Apple Watch, this can be done with a press and hold on its side button. So from here in contacts on the iPhone, we can add anyone as an emergency contact. We get the option to designate how they're related to us. So I'm gonna set Lucas as a friend. That will then display my medical ID. And as I scroll down, we can see Lucas is now set as an emergency contact. Tap done. And now here in the contacts list, he has a medical icon next to his name, letting me know that he's an emergency contact. This is the number that's going to be contacted if I have an emergency. Now let's jump over into the health app. From my profile here, we can access and edit our medical ID. Tap edit and we can add emergency contacts from here as well. I'm going to add Lisa. If you need to remove an emergency contact, that can be done here as well. Having a medical ID set up with the relevant information can be important in case of emergency. If emergency access is enabled for your medical ID, first responders will be able to access this information from the emergency button on your iPhone. This will appear on the number pad screen when the iPhone is locked. So even without a passcode, anyone can tap emergency to make an emergency call or view your medical ID, which can display things like your blood type, allergies, and more. Learn the basics about the iPhone Health app in the overview tutorial that we've done for it on the MacU.com.